contrast panel t-shirt. So the first steps to making your panel is trying on your shirt. Okay, so I put it to shoulder to shoulder to determine my length, well, to start the panel. So I want my panel to start right here. So I'm gonna grab a pin from there. I'm going to know where's my gonna be my panel. Okay. So once we have it pinned, we're gonna see, we're going to mark it on the on both sides. But first we have to measure it. Let me see, okay. There. Okay, so it's six, it's eight and three quarters I meant. So from that measurement, we're gonna transfer it to the other side. So uh, eight and three quarters right here. We have our handy chalk, which we're gonna need. Okay, here. So from there, we're gonna try to connect the both sides using the straight ruler to make it symmetrical and to make it balanced. So I'm just chalking it right now. Okay. Okay, so now, as you can see, the shirt is balanced and it's even. From there, we're gonna start cutting it out. That's why we're going to need a pair of scissors to start cutting it. Okay. Don't be scared to cut the fabric. And for mine, I want it half an inch a little bit shorter. I mean, a little bit more upper. So that's fine if it was um, eight and three fourths. But remember to put half an inch seam allowance to your shirt when you're going to, um, when you're gonna determine your length. So add the half an inch. All right. So from there, we're going to, hold on, sorry. So here's our scraps. We can recycle this or reuse it. And here's our shirt, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna measure the width of the shirt. You see it? Okay. So, okay. so my shirt is, the width is 18 and 3 fourths. From there, we're gonna use the same measurement for the fabric that you chose. I chose this knit um, Cobic blue fabric. Remember to get a knit fabric because if you don't, it's not gonna function if you get it woven because you're trying to put it over your body so it's gonna stretch to your body. Okay. So we're gonna put this aside because we're not gonna need it right now. There's our fabric that we're gonna be choosing. So we're gonna measure it. We're gonna need it to be 19 and 1 fourth because that's the width for the front and back. But we're gonna place it on the fold line. So then we have the front and back. Okay. So, so I'm trying to put it as close as the end. So then it we don't waste fabric that way. Okay, 19 and 1 fourth. 19. Okay, so I have my length, well, the width, I meant, sorry. Um, we have it all set. So now my height is gonna be eight inches. From there, we're gonna mark it along the fold line. Okay. And we're gonna try to mark it again, this area, the other side, to give it, so afterwards we connect it together so it can be um, symmetrical. Okay, so now we're going to connect it together. Okay. And hooray, we have our panel. We just have to cut it out and then we're good to go. 
So now we have our contrast panel. This for the front and back. There's only one seam and the other seam is on the pole. So now we're going to use our shirt that we first cut out with the panel that we just cut out. So we're going to first sew the side seam on the contrast panel. From there we're going to finish the raw edge with an overlock stitch. And then afterwards we're going to stitch the bottom part of the shirt to the contrast panel. So and then we have it one piece. Afterwards, we're gonna just hem it and then that's it, we have our shirt. So let's go to the sewing machine to start sewing. <laughs> On right sides together, we're gonna join them together. So I'm gonna be using my seam allowance. Um, so now we have our seams finished. So if you want, you can overlock it. If, I mean, it's a knit, so it won't really fray. So you're good, you can start um, stitching this top layer or this top seam. So now we're going to press it. Either you can use your finger and press it down or if you want to use an iron, if you have one at your home, you can start, you can go to your iron and press it. For now, we're just going to finger press it. So finger pressing is just pushing down the seam. two pieces together. We're gonna combine them by right size to right size. So this is my right side and this is my right side. We're gonna put inside the shirt. join the right sides together uh, to make it easier for us we're gonna pin it down and then from there we're gonna start stitching it okay. I'm gonna go straight ahead and sew it I find it more simple So now we're going to just press it on the ironing board and then from there we're going to just finish the hem and we're good to go. So now we're going to press it with our iron. Um, if it's light color fabric you want to um, press it downwards if it's dark, if it's a dark contrast. So you see the seam, we're going to press it here because then you don't have it showing on the white side. Press it open here. And now we have our seam press. So now we can just finish the hem and then we're finished. Okay. So to finish it, I know most of you guys don't have um, an overlock to finish it. So we're just gonna stitch it one fourth down. From there we're gonna flip it again and then top stitch that. And then we have it finished and clean. So we finished sewing one fourth already. Now we're just gonna fold it over and we're gonna stitch it near the edge to give us that clean finish. And then we're done. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
So we already finished our hem, it came out nice and close to the edge. Now we're just going to flip it inside and out. And now we have our shirt done. Now we can start wearing it outside Jason's way. <laughs> it has a contrast panel. It's a white and blue look. It's really nice. And that's it.